four years regarding you know, some of our crime prevention programs, for example. You know, uh, there's been a lot of uh, uh, allegations thrown out that you know our prosecutors, I think my opponent said, were trained monkeys at one time. Well, whenever you go to the uh, actual statistics from the state courts administrator, the last available statistics are that we win, it's an 83.2% conviction rate in circuit cases. That's not a, a number that I'm ashamed of. I'm proud of the hard work I'm doing. But more important than numbers is that we don't treat people like statistics. We treat people, whether it's the defendants or the victims, or the witnesses as the human beings they are. And that's the type of office I think our community wants. That's the type of office that I've tried to, to build around with the incredible team that we have. You know, uh, there's been a, an allegation that we've had a lot of turnover. Well, in the 2005-2006, we had the third lowest turnover in the state amongst all 20 state attorney's offices. Right now, even with the budget crunch, uh, last year, uh, look at the numbers in Tallahassee. They had an incredible higher turnover rate than we did. Um, Orlando, incredibly higher rates than we did. It's tough in these economic times for families, and it's tough for agencies. And we've all got to tighten our belts. And the state attorney's office is no different. And private attorneys obviously make a lot more money than assistant state attorneys. And so that is something that has historically been the case and will be the case in the future. But what I can do is build a state attorney's office with people who are inspired to come in every day and do the very best they can for the citizens we represent. And that means that sometimes they work for lower pay, and sometimes they work for longer hours. But at the end of the day, whenever they go home, they have felt that they have done something. Fortunately, like teachers... Normally, this is a time when the candidates have a chance to introduce themselves to those who come to watch and to talk about why they're running for office. This is unusual because you all know who I am, and you all know why I'm running for state attorney. You know me. You know the book on me. Any good lawyer takes notes. When I made a decision, you were watching. You made notes, and you shared those notes. Any lawyer worthy to speak knows the book on a judge. Now, after 13 years on the bench, that's a pretty thick book. You know me. You know what I stand for. You know what I believe in. You know that... I have done the job that you elected to me to do as a judge, and now I'm ready to go on to a different job, the job as state attorney. I tried to be a fair judge. When I spoke to people while I was running for office, people said, we want a judge that's fair. They want a judge who will listen to people. They want a judge who will talk down from the bench without talking down to the people. They wanted a judge who was respectful, they wanted a judge who would listen to them. They wanted a judge who would be fair. I've done all those things. But, you know, now I'm running for a different job. It requires different skills and it requires a different approach. We've heard about the success of the state attorney's office. Unfortunately, I didn't see it in my courtroom. And I doubt that the other judges in felony court saw it in their courtroom. I saw cases that should have been won, lost, because the prosecutors weren't prepared. I've shared the same frustrations that you have. How many of you like going to trial and having the state attorney file the Fifth Amendment information on the eve of trial? How many of you like getting discovery the day that the jury's picked, discovery that you should have received months ago? How many of you like to find out about witnesses at the last minute? I promise you, if that's when they're preparing their cases, that's the answer for why they're losing the trials. And the problem has been, they don't understand, over on the fourth floor of the state attorney's office, that they had a problem here in the courtroom. We talk about statistics. Well, the statistics that I'm talking to you about are the ones that happened right here in the Bay County Courthouse. This state attorney's office has lost more cases in one week in this courthouse than I lost in four years as a prosecutor. That's got to change. When we talk about statistics from the state court system, 87%, how many of you had a chance to plead somebody to a 15-year felony to a three-year probation? That's how you cook the books. That's how you get your statistics. But, you know, we've heard about a tough prosecutor. You need a tough prosecutor. Michael Lifon claimed to be a tough prosecutor. I wouldn't want him to be our state attorney's office. What we need is someone who can run the state attorney's office and do it efficiently. Instead of wasting the taxpayer's dollar, get the most out of their money. Second, we need somebody who can inspire the employees in the state attorney's office.